Hey, welcome back. How are you doing? You can find all sewing tools plus the sewing pattern for this bucket hat in the description. These are the pattern pieces and I also recommend to use interfacing for one of the layers. Now let's begin. First, sew the sides of the brim and the side panels together with right sides together of course. Then repeat the same steps with the other one. Press the seams open on both sides like so. Then you can top stitch along the seams on the side panel and this will also secure the seam allowance. Sew the circle onto the side panel with right sides together. Be sure to sew the top edge with the circle. As you can see, the top is more narrow than the bottom one. Hello? Hello? Take your time because this is the most challenging part of the bucket head. If you do mess up, then undo some of the threads and try it again until you are able to sew the pieces together successfully. Repeat the same process with the other one. Clip the seam allowance all the way around and this will release the tension. For the sake of the video I did it but you don't have to if you don't want to. If you're gonna clip it you can also use fray check. Just so that where you clipped it doesn't fray more. Eventually I decided to add strings to the head. Press the string in half like so. Then you can sew an L shape. Hello? Hello? Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. After that you can trim the corners. Also for this you can use fray check if you want to. Then flip the string right side out with this quick turner. Right. Then point out the corners. I use the pointy side of the wooden stick. You can also use other tools of course like a screwdriver whatever you have. Then press it flat and top stitch along the edge. Next attach the string onto the headpiece. Place it right on the seam of the side panel. And be sure that the raw edges are together. Sew the brim on the main piece, right sides together of course with a straight stitch and be sure to line up the seams of the brim and the side panel. Press the seam allowance facing the side panel. So the seam allowance of the circle is facing the center of the side panel and the side panel seam allowance is facing the center of the side panel. Then you can top stitch along the seam. Once you've done that, sew the lining and the outer pieces together, like so. So all the way around the outer edge, leave a small opening and be sure to line up the seams. Pull out the right side from the small opening.
Here I'm taking the seam allowance from the inside. Make sure that the right sides are together and then sew the hole smaller as far as possible. So what you can do after that, you can close the hole by hand sewing it or with fabric glue or just leave it open just like I did. Press the seams flat of the brim, then fold the edge like so. Then you can add pins onto the brim like so. This will make sure that the brim doesn't shift when you sew the stitch lines onto the brim. Then make the stitches on the brim. For the spaces between the stitches, I'm using the sewing foot as guide, but you can also do a different width if you want. If you did not use interfacing because you're lazy as I am, then it's best to do the whole brim. This will make the brim more sturdy. If you want to make the pattern yourself, watch my other bucket hat tutorial. Otherwise, you can get the pattern via the link in the description. Like the video if you like it. Dislike it if you don't like the video. Share the video on Pinterest. Follow me on Pinterest and Instagram if you want. Listen.